Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Today is a good day on Monday. So Friday, if you didn't check it out on my Instagram or my Snapchat, I don't know if it was on there or not, I'm on my Twitter as well. I got nominated for shortlisted for the Digital Innovator of the Year Award. And I'd like to say thank you very much for everybody who follows me on this. Everyone who's given the video thumbs up, everyone who's done everything for me for the last year. It's been great. I wouldn't have been shortlisted for this if it wasn't for you guys. So I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos and kind of follows me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and all that kind of good stuff. Really, really appreciate, really, really cool. So it's for the Farmer's Guardian. Um, it is obviously about digital, about, you know, about the Snapchat, the online, the kind of stuff that we do, chat to you through the computer kind of, and you kind of see what I'm doing. So yeah, really cool. Dad is the one who nominated me for it. So I've got to give a big thanks to Dad. He uh, nominated me, got a phone call or an email about it, and then just asked me more about what I'm doing. And then here I am shortlisting the top five, which is really cool. So there are other people with me. I think there's a couple of bloggers, a couple of Facebook, um, they call it, uh, FaceTime Farmer, checked them out, really cool, started following them all, so you should, should check them out. If I have got the other nominees, what I'll do, I'll put them at the end, on the end, I'll just show you the other names, and if you want to go check them out, go check them out. There'll be Twitter, bloggers, um, Instagram, and all that kind of cool stuff. I don't think there's another YouTuber, I think I'm the only YouTuber, which is cool. I was going to answer some more questions. So, we're going to look at the slurry store, I'm going to go up at the slurry store. Tom, why is the slurry store bent? That's because, guess who hit it? You guessed it, Tom. Because I am an idiot and mistakes happen and I quite like to show you some mistakes and not show you everything that's perfect. So I'll talk about the slurry store because every time I put the drone up, um, you can see the inside the slurry store and it is, it's got a lot of weed in it, a lot of muck and he's digging out and he's mixing. We have emptied it so the two pipes are open down there and it's filling the main pit up not the main pit, like the holding pit there. So those are fully up. So this is fully empty. So when it rains, it goes straight into there, straight into the pit. Why is there so much weed? Because it doesn't get mixed. When we used to have the separator, which is that thing there, separator used to work, but it rusted and it started to eat itself. How much is it to get a new separator? Or well, a secondhand one refurbed, 11,000 pounds. And that's before you fit it. So we're like, we'll just fire slurry into here. Before we separated it though, no, when we separated it, sorry, it was perfect thin slurry, and now we don't, you get a thick crust on it, which is a bit annoying. You, we will get a stir in to stir it when it gets to the top, but you only do it when it gets to the top, and then we don't do it every time. We didn't do it last year, we'll probably do it this year. Guess how much a slurry stirrer costs? So this is kind of talking about cost, how much everything costs. Guess how much one costs? I'll give you two seconds. One, two. I want you to comment what you think it cost before I say. 35 pounds an hour to stir that. And sometimes they're here like four hours. So that's 140 pounds just to stir this. It's just, it's just nuts. So you're not gonna do it every time it fills up. Oh, Tom going downstairs. So you're not gonna do it every time it fills up. So that is why we have weeds on top of the slurry store because obviously slurry makes things grow. And when you get weeds in there, obviously it grows loads. This is what I was talking about, the doors. The doors are open, so it's just coming through there all the time. I wanted to address another thing. On my last video, people were quite interested. Last video or the video before, people were quite interested about what is the tractor in front of the straw. I think I've showed you it before, but I'm gonna go look at it now, and we'll go have a look at that tractor now. So the tractor in front of the straw is another 885. Everyone knows how much Dad loves the 885s. We have really good comments about the 885s. Everyone says, simple machines, and that's all we need it for, pretty easy. Got an 885 loader. Why have we got a loader when we've got a man or two? That's dad, nothing to do with me. He wanted the loader for some reason, I would have just kept the Manor 2 or maybe sold the Manor, sold the 885 loader and sold the Manor 2 and got a little bit of an upgraded Manor 2. Personally, maybe a little bit smaller so it can get into the carving shed so we can muck that out with the Manor 2 instead of doing it with a hand and fork and scraping it out. I haven't showed you a video of that, I'm gonna do that later on so you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so we do have the 885 loader. Doesn't move that often. If we move it once a month, I don't think I've moved it for two months at the moment. Good for moving straw, it's got a muck grab on front, but if I'm using, if I'm mucking out any of the uh, middens, muck heap, whatever you want to call it, um, I'll always use the Manitou because it's got a bit much, bit more power 
yes it's got the back end so you can lift the trailer up you can lift the trailer on that manatee but i've never actually done it yet and i've always kind of found it a bit odd how to do it but yeah so that is what it is it's 885 looks a bit tidier than the 885 we have on front of the keenan it's got better tires on it say that for nothing it's got the grab on it so it'd be a bit tight and it'd be a bit um, hard to move around the yard you'd have noticed from me at my yard it's not the biggest thing in the world so every inch kind of matters you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah so that is what it is it's an 885 for you keen uh people good tractor starts can bump start um no electric so it's perfect for us yes could buy new tractors and yes we could buy new stuff all the time but it's just kind of cost and what we do with them we don't really do too much with it and this 885 is a beast i quite like it i will yes if i had a brand new john deere that'd be pretty cool but this does the job that we need it to do so guys that was a bit of a catch-up i'd like to say thank you for everyone who viewed stuff it's all about the digital innovation so it's everything a bit different talking about the award again which is in the ceremonies in october so i'll do a video of me and joe going to it i think dad and mum is going to come with us as well uh, it's in birmingham so we're going to travel down to that on the thursday stay over the friday it's a thursday night stay over the friday and then we'll come back so it's all about you know the youtube the instagram twitter snapchat uh the merch doing different stuff like that uh advertising what we do for the farm shop you know when i've gone to uh, schools i went to my old school a bit ago i think we just posted that on to facebook on the pemberton's farm shop facebook page if you want to go follow that it'll be there or the instagram page will be there um yeah so it's all about that so it's all kind of what i've been doing and then you don't really go for the awards and you don't really know didn't really know if the award the award existed but obviously i do now and it's really cool so i'll be going to that in october so it'll be great yeah again thank you for everyone who's done everything for me if you've watched it if you've not even given it a thumbs up you know you, you've watched it you've helped me if you've enjoyed it and you have given it a thumbs up it's helped even more i really really do appreciate it so that was just a catch up of the award i got shortlisted for which is cool the slurry store why it's got so much so many weeds in it because it does it just needs stirring cost 35 pound an hour it's a lot of cash i don't even know if that includes travel so it might be more because they always seem to charge you to get here but whatever just to stir that and the 885 load tractor which it's all right it's a good tractor but would i swap it in and the manitou and get one decent manitou or jcb that's a bit shorter probably is dad the boss yes can i do that no <laughs> so that's the end of it guys thank you very much for watching i'll get a more active video on friday this was just kind of a catch-up video sometimes i gotta do these catch-up videos because there's so many questions on the comment sections which i really like i think it's pretty cool i do read them all but i've stopped answering them all if i do read them all i give it a thumbs up and then occasion i will do some comments in the uh, comment section below if you ask like a simple question and stuff i'll try and just answer it or i'll look at making videos about it so guys thank you very much for watching sorry for me for rambling give it a thumbs up if you liked it because it's been helping me out really appreciate it and we will see you on friday for an epic video let's go for an epic video on friday cool guys see you in a bit see you later